Hello and welcome back to Maker's Muse. I've got a question for you. How often has this happened to you? Yep, that's got to be one of the most annoying things to happen in 3D printing. If your filament runs out and you're not around, your print's going to fail. And if it's like a 15 hour print, well then... Enjoy starting that all over again. Running out of filament sucks. Not knowing if your last little wisp of plastic is enough for a print is really frustrating. And even today, most desktop 3D printers lack the ability of telling you if the filament has actually run out. In fact, the CEL Robox, to my knowledge, is one of the only that I know that actually can detect and pause automatically if your filament runs out. Let me know in the comments if you know of any others. So when Justin over at Endless Parts got in touch with me about his low filament sensor, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So let's check it out. The sensor unit itself is 3D printed and very nice quality. It has interchangeable fittings for 1.75 or 3 mm filament, and the operating principle is pretty simple. Filament passes through the rollers and during normal operation, it sits quietly. However, should the filament run out, bam, the obnoxious piezo goes off indefinitely. So no matter which room you are in your house, you're gonna hear this thing when it goes off. I also like the fact that during normal operation, it actually consumes no power. So you don't have to worry about the battery running out. It should last a very long time. Initially, I was a little concerned about how much friction the rollers would induce onto the filament as it's being pulled into the printers. Some printers like the M3D, the Micro, are very sensitive to any additional friction when pulling filament in and this can cause missed extrusion steps, but I was actually very impressed with how easily the filament actually runs through the sensor and how responsive the sensor is as soon as the filament is no longer in it. Obviously mounting is the biggest hurdle because every 3D printer is completely different. So Justin just had to make these two standardized mounting holes and basically you're gonna have to modify your printer to fit it. I understand a few people will be a little bit hesitant to drill holes into their 3D printers, but really mounting it to the back of my Up Mini was pretty easy. And also I like the idea possibly if that sheet metal, maybe a cool alteration would be to make a unit with neodymium magnets in it that literally just stick to the metal frame instead of having to mod the printer. Because I think a lot of people might be more comfortable with that idea. So how well does it work? Well, quite well, in fact. I did a few tests with the, my end rolls and ones I've normally been too afraid to use and not be in the same room. And the piezo was great announcing that I had to change over my filament. It's just a little bit too easy to get distracted normally when printing with these end rolls. But with a sensor, you can be anywhere in the house and you'll hear it go off as soon as it runs out. And you've got about that much, depending on where you mount it, to uh, correct your print and keep going. One thing to note is although the sensor will detect when a filament runs out, it won't detect a jam. So if the filament jams, the sensor won't detect that it's stopped moving and the alarm won't sound. This is kind of fair enough. It's pretty much impossible to interface an external encoder wheel to like every type of 3D printer. And, you know, just look at machines like the MakerBot 5th Gen. When we first had our MakerBot 5th Gen, the so-called filament feed sensor encoder wheel never worked. And I think they've supposedly fixed it now. But yeah, that's something really tricky to implement into software. So yeah, I don't see how it could be done as an external solution. In summary, I found that since fitting the low filament sensor to my printer, it's like really cheap insurance for your 3D print. It basically solves that annoying print failure that is all too common running out of filament. So I'll be fitting all of these to my 3D printers from now on. You can buy the low filament sensor directly from Endless Parts and Justin has a special code for them at the moment. You simply enter Maker's Muse and you get 10% off the price, which is pretty damn sweet. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments what sort of failures you've had with this kind of problem and if uh, you have any other uh, low filament sensor solutions that you know of. And if it's your first time here on Maker's Muse and you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to not miss any future 3D printing reviews and tutorials. See you guys.